going on everybody welcome to today's installment of mike's vehicle vlogs i want to thank you so much for joining me today this probably is not going to be a long vlog it's probably not going to be long at all but you know i decided i'm going to fix something on the sob today something so simple so uh it's probably not going to be a long video and really the only reason why i'm making the video about this is really just to kind of document something that we are doing with the sob you know but um I've been wanting to tackle it for quite a while, and I haven't done it yet, and I think I'm going to do it now. We're going to do one of the uh, one of the little squirters for the washer fluid. Um, my stepsister left uh, two of them here in the car. Actually, they both look they both look like they're brand new. I'm assuming they're brand new, but uh, yeah. So there's two of them here. I know of only one out there on the hood that doesn't work um, I don't know the reason why I thought about doing this is because uh, well you know I was moving cars around the, the Grand Am over there uh, had a little bit of water leak in through the sunroof again but it didn't pond like it has been it's just it was a very you know it just looked a little damp didn't flood like it did last time the Pontiac sunroof curse will always be around I think for as long as I own a Pontiac with a sunroof so yeah that'll be something I'm gonna have to dig into and I'm not feeling it today I just got home from work I really don't didn't even want to do this but like I was saying the sob it's been sitting here for a few days I was just gonna start it up you know let it run for a bit and then I was like you know I really haven't looked under the hood for a while so I want to check the oil and check make sure everything else is copacetic under there and then I you know remembered you know, the squirter. And I was like, you know, let's fix the squirter while I'm under there anyway. You know, it's such a hassle to open the hood on this. Once I have it up, let's just get it over with. Uh, let me demonstrate. Also, the last time I drove this thing, the radio did not even attempt to work at all. So, like I said, I'm saving that for another time, I guess. Will my uh, washers work in this mode? No, so I have to have the key in the on position. There's no chime, there's no radio. Dun dun dun. This thing's gonna drive me crazy. Get that one. Alright. Uh, let me show you. Ooh, did you see that? It comes out from under the hood. Now, see, I never knew that. But you can see the other two are working. And the one here. <laughs> it comes out from under the hood. So that means every time that we've been using the squirters, it's probably been shooting. Uh, somewhere under the hood, which isn't good. <laughs> yeah, so that means if this was, this was probably getting all of this stuff wet, the battery, luckily there's a, um, you know, a thing on the battery, but, um, yeah, so anyway, as you can see, we have obviously a hood insulator here. Oh, wow pretty interesting things there that wasn't like that that had to have been from this I forgot headlight washers the headlight washers hit up there I forgot that those were a thing on this car all right well it appears that those work just fine yeah I forgot all about those anyway so this here let's take a look and uh Oh, I think the bottom of it's blown out. Is that what happened? Yeah, it's open. No wonder. I wonder why that, that thing doesn't work. Yeah, so the bottom's blown out. Okay. So as you can see, this is actually going to be pretty simple. What we have to do is get both of the lines off. Hopefully those won't break. I really hope those don't break. And then we have to kind of push that tab in right there and push it up out of the hood. So, I don't know, let's see, let's see how easy this is going to be. Um, I may not even have to cut this video, I might be able to do this in one take, one shot. So, okay, there's one line, and the other one's a little tougher. Oh, two line. Not bad, okay, and then, <laughs> look at that. Oh, 
Jeez, how do you get it out? Oh, there we go. No? no that end doesn't fit through the... Oh, there it goes. Okay, just gotta mess with it a little bit. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. Interesting. Yeah, so the entire time that the washer fluid has been attempted to get used, then it was just shooting out of the bottom and possibly all over all over the stuff here. I just had a Honda Odyssey at work yesterday with a washer squirter problem. It was kind of similar. Both of the little uh, jets on the squirters were missing, like broken off. So every time they used their washer fluid, it would only come up to about here on the window, and it was just large globs of fluid, you know? You obviously need the little pinhole type things to actually force the pressure through, and that's what really gives you the, the spray, you know what I mean? There's our hole. Um, let's, I guess we'll just grab one of these, it really doesn't matter which one. Yeah, see? This one's got a thing on the bottom of it. This one does not. Mm. All right. Let's try this again. All right, so first, we'll try to get it in through the hood. Jeez. That's... I don't really understand how it's supposed to... Good thing there's two, because I might be breaking one of them. <laughs> That's so st strange. There's no way you can't you can't get it up through the bottom. It has to go in through the top. Do these come apart? No. They kind of spin, but they don't come. Oh, they do. You can take them apart. Nice. Okay, that helps. So. Let's do this. Let's. Oh, that's a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works a lot easier. And now, let's hold the top. It clicked. All right. Cool. Hook the hoses back up. You can't really mess those up. I can't see. <laughs> there we go, one. Two, okay, hopefully the hoses don't blow off. Nice, all right. Look at that, oh. I just saw the fluid go all over the thing. Yeah, and they all work better now. Oh look, that one's doing it too. What? Yeah, well, let's replace the other one. <laughs> hey, wash your fluid low. Oh good, good. Well, while we have the hood up, we can put some washer fluid in it. This is turning out to be a pretty productive video after all. Too bad all three weren't here. We could have just replaced them all. Is this still intact? Oh, sort of. Um, this one looks like it might be a different scenario. So, the bottom's not out. Why is it? Is the, I don't know. Well, we're gonna, we're, we'll just change it anyway. We're here. We've got another one. We're here. I uh, can't tell how far you guys can see. Unfortunately, I don't think this is a one-handed job. Oh wait, what's this? Oh look, this looks like the bottom of that one. Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it is uh, getting ready to blow out. Yeah, see, it was sitting right in the uh, cowl here. Yeah, I feel like I, I need two hands to do this. 
I guess if it breaks, it doesn't matter. I don't want to break it, but okay. There we go. So there's that. Now let's pull this apart, I guess. Oh, this one doesn't want to come apart. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then we'll push the clip. not that difficult. All right. So I'm going to take this one apart and do one carefully. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pull. I'll see. Ah, there we go. All right. Put this up here. Make sure the squarters are obviously facing the window. Okay, so that's in place. Oh wait, that's not gonna work because I just realized there's double double ends on this one. And this is this is the end. We need we need to cut off. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see something here. Maybe can we? No, is this no good? Oh, it looks like it popped off. It just popped right back in. The end of it just popped right back in, but. I wonder if it's gonna stay. It feels like it wants to stay. Nope, nope, it's not gonna stay. Hmm. Alright, so the only thing I came up with is tape. <laughs> so, electrical tape. Um, I wrapped it around, you know, the barb first. I did a couple of tight wands, winds, wounds, whatever. I wrapped it around the, the barb quite a few times really tight and then I stuck this last piece on in here to kind of keep the end, you know, taped over. Is it going to work? Meh. If it works, it probably won't be a permanent solution. But at least, you know, until I decide if I want to get the original one or not. Or, it, you know, I may actually keep, you know, if, it, if it's going to leak, it'll probably be very little because most of it's going to end up coming out the top anyway. Um, yeah, let's get this thing in there. Um, all right, so face it this way. I'm gonna use my other hand to push on the hood piece so it doesn't break. Okay, so that's in. Let's hook this hose back up. Hose is on. All right, let's go see if it works. I didn't see anything coming out from under the hood. I think the tape thing actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> like I said, it'll probably just be temporary. But at least we won't have washer fluid shooting out in places where it shouldn't be. That's the cleanest this window's been in a while. Cool. It's low on washer fluid. Well, let's put washer fluid in it. Ooh, this bottle feels loose. Jeez. I don't have much because I used some for the other car. A little less than a half, half a gallon here. Uh, let's let's add some. I really hope this neck isn't like detached or something. Doesn't sound like it. There we go. The engine kind of got a fresh washing from the headlight squirters, which I'm surprised still uh, do still work. Ah, all right. Check my oil and stuff. That's what I really wanted to do. I didn't do that yet. Oh, of course I don't have napkins in here. Gotta go to the other car. Oh, it's napkins. There we go. We just need one. Oh, she got that musty smell. Yeah, you can see it didn't really soak a whole lot. It's, it's ugh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
cross that bridge later. Oil still looks pretty good, but then again, it doesn't get driven a whole lot. It's above the max mark, it looks like, and that's, you know, we haven't started it yet, so everything really did settle to the bottom. Um, I'll probably let it run for a little bit here in a second, but you see, if you guys can see, but, you know, it still looks good. Oh, it's about to drip, but, uh, yeah, it still looks pretty good, it still looks pretty clean. Let me get started for a little bit. I didn't pay attention to what the fuel gauge was saying. Uh, yeah, the fuel gauge I think is up further than it should be. Hey, the radio might work. Our chime is working. That's a good sign. I have the radio off. Wow, the radio's alive. Whoa, radio is working. All right. Running pretty good. Coolant looks like it's still in the good range. I remember my stepsister saying she thought it was losing coolant. I haven't had any problems with it. It's still there. Brake fluid's still a good level. We've got some uh, creatures living under here somewhere. Whoa. That's weird. Every once in a while, every once in a while it decides to do that when it's warm enough. <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit. That's all right. We'll probably end up finding the actual squirter. But until then, I'm really not all that concerned about it. Should hook the uh, should hook the all tell up to it and see if it has any history or anything. No check engine light when it does that, so it's it's a very bizarre situation. It's a good sound car though, man. All right, so I'm gonna shut it off. Check this oil again. And even after it runs, it's just a little bit, you know, under. That's still not too bad, though. It's still in the safe zone. It's essentially, it's an Ecotec engine, so of course it's probably losing oil somewhere. They all do eventually. Just wonder if the timing chains and guides were ever changed. That's really the only thing I'd... One of the only things I'm not certain of with this car is if that was ever done for almost 200,000 miles. But when we had the valve cover off, when we did the valve cover gasket uh, last summer, actually, I think it was a year ago this month that I'm filming this, so it's been on there for a year. But uh, the chain looked pretty decent, and the guide on the top was still there. I didn't really see or feel any lack of tension in the chain. You know, I was kind of pushing down on it and stuff, and it was pretty tight, so we might not have any problems there. I don't know, I think that's it. That's really all I wanted to do. Get it running, check the oil, check the coolant. And uh, like I said, just decided to do the squirter since I got the hood open. 
like I said, which is a pain because I never, never got the cable replaced yet. So I don't know what all needs to really be done to get the cable. Man, something's making a nice home under here. Cable goes through there. Obviously, it goes down to under the dashboard. But I just wonder what all has to come up from here to really get to get to that. I'll probably end up getting one from the junkyard sometime soon because the way I have to open this hood is a pain. But I think we're good. I think we're done under here. That's hot. All right, so not a whole lot happening in today's vlog, but still a little tiny bit of improvement with the Saab. And uh, at least now I know I gotta look for an end squirter. Uh, but I'm glad that I got the one on the driver's side uh, taken care of because that was, that was driving me nuts if I had to use these and that one wasn't working. The middle one kind of would you know reach over, but uh, having the one in front of me is so much better. So we'll probably end up getting another one and uh other i'm sure repairs will follow all right so that's it short and sweet today if you enjoyed this if it helped you with your sob squirters or whatever i don't know <laughs> thumbs up comment subscribe i will see you guys next time thanks again for watching and take care